This is David Moss with BIC Trikes. Today we're going to show off our finished product of the cross country that is for the Fury. Now this trailer setup is for the Honda Fury, the 2010 to 2020. Um, so this one's for the Fury, but we do build them for all bikes. Get a hold of me, let me know what kind of bike you have, what kind of setup, and we can definitely build a trailer for you. So first of all, we want to show our pod. We finally got one in. It's not busted. Last one came busted. This was more expensive, heavier, thicker better pod you can see it has a latch this only opens on one side and this is the opposite kickstand side and we wanted that because of the mere fact that if it's on this kickstand it's going to be leaned over a little bit and want it to be easy to get to so here's a key you can see it's locked take the key unlock it you can see inside it's pretty good size um we're going to put our suitcase here when we go to arkansas and as people ask well Aren't you worried about the, the weight shifting? There's two things. This is low to the ground and not that high, so we don't have a lot, a lot of high things that are going to shift the weight. But also, as a safety precaution, we got straps, and they hook into these places right here, and you strap your load down so you don't have to worry about it shifting on you. And like I said, once again, this opens and shuts and locks down. So you shut it, lock it, and you got to worry about your stuff being stolen or messed with. And it looks really good. And it's low profile. Now you'll notice that we have a space right here. And everybody asks you, why didn't you go have the pod go right to the fender? Uh, there's a couple reasons why. First of all, you got to be able to get these two bolts unbolted to pull this fender off if you ever need to change the tire. So I want it to be easy as possible. I don't want to have to wrestle with it. The second reason is I want this room here because I'm going to put some aluminum metal on this. Uh, doesn't add any weight hardly. And I'm going to have a place for a gas can and anything else I think that I want that I do not want in this. So uh, these things only get about 100, 120 miles. Uh, so I want it to be able to, you know, put a gas can there for traveling a great distance. And all of a sudden my, my gas light goes low and I don't see a gas station around. I'm not worried about it. I have gas. You'll notice the chrome rim, of course, and our plastic fender that we use on everything. We also have our tail lights on this bike, uh, this trailer. And there's left turn signal, right turn signal, as far as that goes. And then if you'll notice over here that we have did the wiring throughout. We have the kickstand, which is right here. So when you park it, you use the kickstand, and it's locked in through the spring, just like your motorcycle. You put it up when you go riding. does a wonderful job. Um, we also have, like I said, did some safety things that, we, that there were some concerns about, so we took care of some safety things. So one of them is... This right here, this bar that you see, this is actually holding this so it can't move in or out. How it works is it's pretty simple. It's wing nutted on. And you just simply take your wing nut off. Pull this off. And if you want to take this off, you loosen it. Like that. And then once you loosen it, you can unscrew this thing. And you pull it off. But you don't want it to come undone while you're riding. So once you get it to where you want it, then you just simply tighten it down. And once you get it to where you're not happy with the tighten, push it in and wing nut it on. So now this cannot move because this is being the safety feature on it and you wing nut it back on. You'll also notice that there's a wing nut here and a spot for a wing nut here. And what that is, this bar has two holes and it goes here and there for when you park it. So this doesn't swing around because this is a bearing setup. When you, you do not pull this off at any time to take this to unhook the trailer, you just simply pull the bar out, move it out of the way, ride your bike away, and that's how easy it is. So we, we made sure to make some safety features like this so you don't have to worry about it coming off, and a way of being able to park it and not have to worry about that. Here's our wiring harness. You can see that we have connectings like connectors like this right here. And the way it works is pretty much plain and simple. You push it in together, screw it in, that's waterproof. So when you get our trailer rear ends, what you'll get is the wiring will be done all the way down. And then when it comes here, you'll have this part hooked to the trailer. And then you just have to wire this into your bike. Now, the way I did that was I ran it and then I zip tied it to the back end right here. And you can see just how easy it is to unhook it. Just unscrew it. Pull it apart. And that's it. Now, this stays here. So I don't have to worry about it getting in the tire, zip tied. And when I want to hook the trailer up, I can. It's not very noticeable. doesn't really pull any attention away from my bike. I love it being beautiful. I want everything uh, pretty much, you know, 
beautiful slim, slim lines and such. I don't want a big gaudy plug sitting there. Everybody notices. And then you just simply, if you want to screw it back, put it back together, you screw it in. And voila, you have tail lights again. Um, we are really proud of the cross country. It is our first trailer that we've built. I have taken it out. It runs great. The difference between this single axle trailer and your normal motorcycle trailers that you pull behind your bike is simply this. This only has one wheel. When I lean, it leans. When I hit, when I, whatever my bike does, it does the same thing. So it makes it where it's part of the bike. It doesn't feel like it's different. When you have the dual axle ones that you normal trailers, they start going back and forth and wobbling. It pushes and pulls on your bikes. Anybody that's ever ridden a bike with a trailer will tell you they, they, they feel like they're pushing and pulling you. I don't like that. This does really good. We've taken it out and put many, many miles on this frame before I ever got it powder coated. I loaded it down. We just drove it and it did wonderful. So I'm really happy with the product. So I think this is one of the things that is going to definitely change uh, a lot of stuff. You'll be able to put your stuff in, take off riding, and not have to worry about you losing control of your bike because of a trailer that you're pulling. Like I said, this is our cross country. This is for the, the, the Fury. If you want this right here, uh, you can call me at 765-242-6651. This one, our prototype, we're selling for $2,000. And if you want it shipped, it'd be plus shipping. But $2,000 for this one right here, um, because it's our prototype, we put some, some real good thought into it and such, so we get a little bit cheaper. Uh, if you want us to build you one, this will run powder coated chrome rim, the, um, the black fender, a good pod on it, about $2,500 to give you an idea how much this would cost. So, um, you'll, you'll recognize it, it is a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. And this thing is an outstanding trailer. Uh, this is David Moss with BIC Trikes. We appreciate it. We also going to, as you can see right now, I have a shirt that has our logo on it. It also has our motto on the back that says high quality, low cost because everybody deserves a ride. These are for sale. So you can buy these if you want to order shirts like this. You can buy them for $20 a piece. Uh, we have all kinds of different colors. You can just call me and let you know your size and color and uh, we'll get it shipped out to you. Uh, we appreciate all of our customers. You guys have been great during this pandemic that's been going on. We have been blessed. God has really taken care of us. So I want to thank Christ for that. We should have had this done earlier, but we couldn't because I was just so busy. So I want to thank God. Uh, our name is BIC Trikes. It stands for Brothers in Christ, where we give Christ all the glory. We appreciate you. Like, subscribe so you can keep up with the new to, newest things. And thank you and God bless.